Hey guys, welcome to Soccer's Tech Spot. If you saw my last video, you saw the catastrophe that was this IDE converter to compact flash. So let me bring that back so you guys can see what happened. I converted this iPod to flash memory a while back and it completely got destroyed. Uh, looks like these two pins shorted out or something. So we're gonna go ahead and do some repairs. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm just gonna tell you exactly what you're gonna need to do this kind of modification since we're basically redoing it. And uh, of course you're gonna need this IDE to compact flash converter. And you can get this on Amazon. Everything you will need will be in the link in the description. And we'll get to some other things too. But right now, this is the main part right here. This is gonna convert your uh, hard drive that's in your iPod to the compact flash, which looks like this. And once again, link in the description for all this stuff. Why isn't it focusing? I can't focus it. There it goes. So uh, this is all in the description. If you wanna get one for yourself, I'm gonna use 32 gigabytes, but you could get up to 128 if you really wanted to. Uh, I would not recommend that for uh, a classic iPod unless you have a ton of music. Uh, also, if you're gonna be replacing your battery, you might wanna have a battery handy. This is from iFixit. Um, I'm not sure if the whole corrosion process got taken out here too. There's a little bit of corrosion in the circuitry. So hopefully the battery's still good. If not, this is gonna be a waste of time. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, of course you wanna, oh, also, I almost forgot to mention, you will be needing uh, some double-sided tape because you wanna hold it in place when you put it in. Uh, and we'll get to that uh, later on. So let's go ahead and crack into the iPod. Now I don't have a hard drive in here because like I said, I already did this a while back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try not to damage my iPod as I figure out how I'm gonna get in. And I might skip this part just for uh, saving you guys the headache. Ah, okay, let's not stab myself with a plastic uh, spudger. Okay, there we go. So these tools come, came with my battery. And once again, link in the description. You could also catch my old video that I made a couple of years ago where I actually go through the whole entire process and show you in detail uh, how to do this. But right now, I'm gonna try to do this in a really nitty gritty way. And you wanna be careful when you remove the back plate because there is a ribbon cable, but I have detached my ribbon cable already when I discovered the catastrophe. And here, you could actually see where it kind of blew up and it burned through the plastic a little bit. Let's go ahead and get scissors. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb. I'm not sure if this is going to be uh, functional because these come in from China and hopefully it works fine. Uh, this is supporting documentation. We're not gonna read that because we already know what we're doing. Now this one uh, already looks kind of funky. But I'm gonna trust their expertise and I'm gonna hope that it's not messed up because you can see the quality control pass, so that must be a good sign, right? Right? Okay. So uh, basically what you wanna do, carefully take this off, and I say carefully because right here is the motherboard connector for the drive. And here it is right here, so you wanna be careful not to damage this. Let's get a close up of that. And why I took it off, because I'm gonna put this battery back in and I'm hoping that it's not damaged because if it's damaged, we're gonna have a lot bigger problems on our hand. All right, so we got that in. I'm actually gonna put the wires to the side for now, just like that, okay? Uh, next up, we're gonna put this back. You wanna align uh, the connector over here with the port on the board. This one's actually kind of scary because so tiny and delicate. Okay, it felt a little, you'll feel a little click when you uh, squeeze it down, but you wanna make sure it's aligned because it's super delicate parts. So that's done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get the double-sided tape and I'm gonna eyeball how much I'm gonna need. So let's go ahead and do that right now. That should be fine. Let's get the scissors. There's some dog hair on here, but it's okay. And just for OCD, let me align this a little better. All right. Put this down here. I'm gonna just speed through this because I already went through the process and honestly, I wanna fix it and get back on with my life. 
So hopefully the music and the flash drive, or the flash drive is still intact and the music is still in there is what I meant to say. Uh, I'm actually gonna need to take that off. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there later. So the way this works is like that. You just slide it on. That's as simple as it is. And uh, one more thing you wanna take note of, uh, there are a few pins that you're not gonna use. Those uh, two or three on the side, you'll see where it says pin one. It even says, notice this before you start. So make sure you don't screw that. Uh, and that's gonna be just like this. You're gonna see the pins on the bottom here. And then you just wanna align them. So this one's gonna be right justified if I could even use that phrasing. So let me go ahead and do that. And you wanna be careful not to detach the board again. Actually, I should have taken off the double-sided tape, shouldn't I? Now, once again, let me see if I can angle this so you guys can see it. This is actually kind of hard showing you while I'm doing this. Okay, now I'm gonna push it down, get the double-sided stickiness going, and make sure it's connected. Yep, it looks good to me. All right, and I'm also gonna move these wires back in so we could seal this thing once we're done and that's basically it okay uh, I can see that it's not the straightest it looks a little crooked doesn't it hmm does that look crooked to you guys whatever it's in there it looks good wired up here hopefully the battery doesn't blow up or anything like that and then last but not least make sure you attach the ribbon cable this is for the headphone jack and the lock button or the switch uh, it's gonna go like that, I believe. Yes, so it's probably easier to do it this way. Okay, and I'm having some trouble here. It's in. Let's close it up. Okay, why isn't it closing normally? I'm running into some issues already being a little violent with it. Okay. It's not closing up down here. So let me open this up, see what the problem is. Okay, it looks like the board is sticking out a little bit. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start closing on this side first and then this side. And maybe I could trick it into yeah. thinking it's okay. Yep, I could trick it. No, I can't. You can't trick the iPod. Okay, there we go. Uh, hmm. Yeah. This isn't working out, is it? Okay. Fine. All right. So that should be completely straight. Hopefully, I didn't break anything in the process. And once again, let's align it, push it down, and we're done. like it clicked into place but I can't be sure until I put this thing together all right and I think we're done now hopefully it closes this time around wait a minute it's covering this all right all right let's put this back together All right, there you go. So yeah, you wanna make sure you align that. Don't make my mistake and do this quick and dirty. Uh, it's good enough for now. That looks fine. Yeah, okay. So that's done. Let's plug it in, see what happens. Okay, first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and com confirm power is going to it. So this is not gonna plug into my computer as of yet so far. We got the Apple logo. I'm feeling good about it so far, and it's probably gonna either boot up or ask us to do a restore since we got a new converter maybe. I'm not sure, let's find out what it asks. Oh, we're back in business. Okay, it doesn't want me to restore, which is good. Let's go to, let's go to our music. 
Oh yeah, music is there. Let's confirm we still have the 32 gigs or the 30 gigs after formatting. All right, okay, there it is. So it is back and it's alive. So I'm not sure exactly what happened with the previous converter, but that's how you convert your iPod. This one, third B, this one being third generation, fourth, fifth should be similar. Those are the iPod videos, or fifth is iPod video, fourth is just a more advanced uh, iPod. Anyways, that point being, that's how you do it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll help you out the best I can. Link in the description for everything you're gonna need to do this project. And uh, yeah, good luck to you and learn from my mistakes. Also, be very careful when you put it back together. Uh, you wanna make sure everything is aligned properly. Thanks for watching guys and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or it helped you out. You could also check out a couple of my other videos as you see in front of you. And you can subscribe for more tech content coming in the future. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.